YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. Yes, my boys, we're finally going to be able to get in there with the new Hazy Flame Never Miss. This Hazy Flame combo deck has all the powers of the Arcanite Magician Hazy Flame deck that I used to run back in the day. We needed to have more synchro tools. This deck can synchro summon, this deck can exceed summon, and it even can use the power of double tuning to summon Crystron, Corian, Gandrax for game. So this deck has a lot of power, my boy. This is actually a real hazy deck that I can really stand up and stand by and stand behind and really be proud of, honestly. Um, I literally just didn't want to run a lazy flame deck. What's a lazy flame deck, my boy? Summon Basil Trace and hope for the best, or or basically summon the three monsters, slap beat down and hope for the best. There's too many options, there's too many tools, there's too many combos and too many ways to run a Hazy Flame deck. And when I did my live stream, I had that feeling, my boy. I had that feeling that there was more, so I had to dig a little deeper, my boy. So enjoy the rest of this video, and I hope that you guys can uh enjoy this video little baby no sleep has been clapping your boy for the last couple of days i have had like like maybe like three or four hours of sleep in the last like 24 to 48 hours it's been crazy uh but uh he's teething and, and we're trying to survive so yeah enjoy this my boy i'm gonna try to get some rest um and uh yeah enjoy the video now if you guys have been familiar with me and this channel for a very long time, I have been playing the Hazy Flame deck. I've been playing it longer than anybody else on YouTube, anybody else playing Duel Links probably. I've been playing this deck since day one and never ever let it go. All the way up until about a couple months ago where, you know, honestly, when the meta changed and Floodgate became the number one top card on top of sheer nui and a bunch of other combos hazy flame kind of took a back seat i've been playing a lot of triple d but recently i've been enjoying playing the hazy flame deck because they've gotten new support now what's funny is about this deck this deck harkens back to the old hazy flame deck that i used to play when I used to use the Tricky and uh, Fabled Cerebral. If you don't remember that, I used to use that combination to summon the uh, Arcanite Magician. And um, summoning the Arcanite Magician that way and being able to destroy uh, two cards on the field um, just really helped to uh, make that deck more consistent, more powerful. And then on top of that, I was able to um, actually have uh, outs for a lot of different plays and then also having sacrifice fodder for my hazy flame monsters so that all came from a synchro toolbox of using uh level fives level sevens uh well level fives and level twos to make sevens and then also um having the ability to go back and forth with the hazy monsters and have all types of different synchro solutions so I've come up with a very similar build to that build, but with that being said, um, this plays a little different because you're using Labyrinth Builder instead of Beatdown, which is, you know, unfortunately for me, I'll put it to you like this. Right now, the meta has changed so much. Of course you can play Beatdown. Um, of course you can play uh, the overlay skill for a one shot OTK. But I personally believe that the best skill to use is Labyrinth Builder because you have so many other options if you use Labyrinth Builder. So first off, we gotta solve the never miss equation, my boy. We gotta get to all monsters in the deck. And there's no faster way to getting to all monsters if you don't play spells and traps or you play one trap. And the one trap we play in this deck is Assault Mode Activate. We are not using Hazy Pillar. We are not using um, Hazy Glory. We are not using Hey True Nate, Cosmic Cyclone, none of that. Um, those cards can be used. You can put them in the deck. You know, they kind of won't hurt because we're using Labyrinth Builder. That is a skill that lets you put stuff back into the deck so that you can summon 
out a labyrinth wall which is a 3000 defense level 5 monster which is key in this deck um but also um you can always use the psychic reflector to pull uh your assault beast from the deck and then assault beast goes to grab assault mode activate and once it's in your hand it's in your hand and you don't have to worry about fudging hazy flame sphinx effect so the key combos in this deck is to use hazy periton to uh activate the effect to basically either summon out a hazy flame bossle trace and another monster um or a fully powered hazy flame bossle trace and basically you only would summon a full power hazy flame bossle trace if for whatever reason you couldn't otk them so this is all about the otk this is this this, this deck doesn't care what you play this deck doesn't care where your back row is this deck doesn't care about any of that if i can banish your monster and attack for game i will if i can brionic your field and attack for game i will and the brionic combo is definitely really spicy if you're using your psychic reflector you can summon the psychic reflector you can bring back the assault beast in attack position summon the labyrinth wall by return two cards in your hand synchro the labyrinth wall with reflector to make brionic brionic's effects activates and then you beat them up with 23 and 19 for game now i really like that combo but the hazy flame bossle trace combo is very much the same only difference is Hazy Flame Bossle Trace will only be able to get rid of a monster and not back row, um, which could be problematic, but it's not really that big a deal. And one of the strongest plays in this deck is to be able to summon Crystron, Quarion, Gandrax. There's two ways you can do that in this deck. Way number one, you're going to use your Red Resignator to special summon your Psychic Reflector, and then Psychic Reflector activates his combo, and then you're going to bring back your assault beast and then your assault beast is gonna have to come to the field as a level seven i mean not level seven, as a level uh six and when assault beast comes back at the level six you're gonna synchro your two and your one together and make a level nine and then you're gonna drop chris dry corian gandrax or you're gonna return two cards to your hand and uh, to your deck and then you're gonna normal summon a deep sea diva and with deep sea diva and your labyrinth wall you can summon Christron Quarion Gandrax. Now what's amazing about Christron Quarion Gandrax is that he will banish your opponent's cards from the field or graveyard. And when he dies, he can pull a card back that was banished and special summon it to your side of the field. You can even bring back Fortune Lady Every and it'll come back 2828. And with a Fortune Lady Every on the field, you can tribute that off. And little, little baby no sleep over here is going bananas. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and by tributing uh, the fortune lady every or whatever monster you brought back you can go into your hazy flame combo but yeah my boy that looks like that's gonna be the end of this my boy uh, one more thing I wanted to mention because we're running these level twos we can also exceed summon into number 45 um, the effect negata you this card is really good as well don't sleep on this card we use deep sea diva and red resignator to summon this card and and that's it my boy <laughs> so i'm gonna thank y'all so much for watching enjoy the rest of the video and as always keep it dang all right my boys as you can see we just went eight and two with this deck and honestly what did i lose to on there i would say you know the same thing you would expect uh I lost to a random wall of D, of course. And then uh, with this one, I got cheese because it was a stall deck <laughs> and I lost to <laughs> Kite Roy, basically. So Kite Roy, wall of D, you wanna make sure that you're looking out for those things. Everything else is fine. With this OTK style deck, if you know your opponent's running Kite Roy or wall of D, you can play around it. But if you don't know that they have it, then you're gonna hold the L basically only two L's that I took out of a 10 game span and I'm gonna try to quickly get in another game before uh, you know my baby gets to going bananas but the baby gets to going crazy all right life's one tilt not really afraid of life's one tilt cuz got a lot of options for that especially Corian Gandrax Corian Gandrax helps out a lot with life's one tilt I was not 
just like one either. Okay. Ooh, and the reflector. So, okay, we do have an OTK options, but we know he plays Karibo in his deck. So he probably's got Kite Roid and other stuff like that too. Um, so that so the question is like, what do we do? Do we do the Psychic Reflector OTK? Do we go for a Hazy Flame OTK, or do I just go with uh, Quarion Gandrax for a good banish? Because there is some targets in the grave. I'd like to hit. I'd like to hit his. Uh, yeah, I'd like to hit his light swarm monsters and his stuff on the field. Take care of. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to do that. Hmm. Um. Let's uh summon. Let's do the Corian Gandrax play. I'm gonna pop the Labyrinth Builder. I'm gonna send these two back. Summon Diva. Diva's effect. Summon Diva. Well, nothing in the back row is gonna stop me because it's not activating. Which means it could be Wallaby or Mirror Force or something like that, but it's probably not because this is a Life Sworn deck. They don't typically don't play stuff like that. All right, so we're gonna banish you. Uh, we're going to banish you. And we're gonna banish one more. Uh, I'm gonna take away his light because you know he's running Levy in there. Bacon Saver, great. Take a 3,000. Karibo. Yeah, Karibo. That's why I didn't go for the OTK. Oh, the Stega thing. Never mind. The Stega thing. Oh, I forgot about that card. All up in this graveyard. I forgot about that. Getting rid of all those light monsters. I forgot about this card. Looking directly at it. He's out here doing his thing. <laughs> he's doing his thing, man, y'all. <laughs> All right, he's got the glow up bulb. Tis cool. Not worried about that at all. Black Rose Dragon? Oh, that might not be the best play for you, buddy. All right. Because I definitely get to bring a monster back. I'm gonna bring back your big boy in defense position on my side. This guy is going bananas. What you doing over here, man? Squirming. Playing around. Alright, let's see what else he has. Okay. And then he's got Levy in there. Okay. Huh, he missed. <laughs> Livia in there takes the card from your hand, dog. Vermilion. Vermilion's gonna blow it up, dog. I'm attacking, dog. Rip. Sets the cosmic cyclone. Alright. My turn. Good oak. Well, he missed, so we're gonna summon. Use our effect. All right, we're gonna grab this. And that Stego thing can stop him from taking damage, and it's got 2,400 defense. So we gotta pretty much be careful about that card. So we're gonna either bring out Brionic or we're gonna bring back um, um, a Vermilion. I think I might pop Vermilion. Let's see. Um, 
It's a synchro card. It's destroyed by a card effect since the graveyard. You target one banished tuna and add it to your hand. No, we're not doing that. So we gotta do uh, Briana. Uh, go for five, six, plus one, seven. No, that's seven. So four. That's why I always count four plus one, five plus one is six. <laughs> I always do it like that. Always. Always. Alright. So we're gonna do Brionic. Right now he's top deck mode and he's got a lot of stuff banished, so. And what we have left in here. Some interesting choices. Um I definitely could do Cyframe Zeta too. I'm going to pitch this. We're gonna finish him off with the Hazy OTK next turn, but not this turn. All right. Um, if we attack, we can put that six on the field. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. It's gonna pass turn. Hopefully he doesn't top deck the nuts. Hopefully. So all I need to do is get the next turn, draw a fire monster for game. All right, that up. <laughs> Did not draw the fire monster, but we can rank up this uh, this uh, synchro summon. I got the 1300 life points. He's got 25. He's top decking pretty bad. So I'm going to swing in. Now that I got Cypher and Zeta, I'm not like afraid to swing in with uh, nothing like that. When I played Corian Gandrax, I should have banished this card, but I was focusing on getting rid of all the light stuff. But the funny thing about that is, okay, cut it to 17. The funny thing about that is, I wonder why he uh, cut it to 17. I wonder why he did that. Well. Well, all right, draw. And here we go. Uh, game time. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Wonderful. Mad. Madman. All right, here we go. Oh, sheer newbies. Okay. This is fine. That is fine. But it, all this means is we're definitely going to be dealing with some back row. But what back row is it? Is it targeting back row? Probably. <laughs> is it banish my graveyard back row? You know what I'm saying? Like, what kind of back row is it? It's probably gonna be some targeting back row, so I'm probably gonna try to hazy flame OTK this guy. All right, we're gonna do the hazy flame OTK. Um, so let's pop the lavish builder. We're going to go ahead and send back the Assault Mode Activate because that's bad in our hand and a pair of 10. We're going to Tribute the Wall for the Sphinx. I mean, unless it's Floodgate, you know, we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure it's Belisa Squad though. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's for Geki Break. He's a maniac. <laughs> he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> Dami? I told you it was targeting. So, I, <laughs> I told you it was targeting. They call me Mr. GG. <laughs> let's end this duel. All right. So, let's first off just bring one and uh, two. Cause we don't even have to go all the way, but we are. 
I'm gonna. Oh no, bro. Come on. Get around me. Shadow Realm. Come on. He said, don't, he said, don't send me to the Shadow Realm without me. I said, okay. Come on. I said, come on out. Hey, you flame, baby. Say hello, baby. Mm hmm. That's right. It's clap time. It's going down. And uh, get your ass banished. Thank you. Time to die. Don't have to wait for the 15th when you got the power right now.